Hey guys, it's your boy Tech with Steve here. Today's video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to keep your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad um, running good as new. I'm gonna show you guys also in this video how to clean out your phone from catch files, junk files, um, just to clean up your RAM and your memory so your phone can run a little bit faster and another way of how to do this over the computer if um, you don't want to do it to your phone that's just the computer part of it is just to get more into like your files if you have stuff like that you downloaded on your phone you could delete it from the computer now that we'll get into the um, second part of this video now I'm going to show you the first part of this video which is on the phone I'm going to be using my iPhone 6 here now this is both jailbroken you could do this on a jailbroken phone and you could do this on a non jailbroken phone I have two apps the first app I'm going to be showing you guys is iCleaner Pro which you can find in Cydia you won't be able to find this on the app store so this is the one app the only app you can get on Cydia it's really useful if you're jailbroken so we're going to get into that the source to this app will be in the description Okay, so once you get iCleaner opened up, this is what you're going to be greeted with. Now on top you have Analyze. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let's see if this camera focuses. Alright, anyway, just continue. You have Analyze up here. And then you have Clean on the other side. There you go. Analyze and Clean. Now basically analyze it analyzes all the files on your phone your apps and it gives you a percentage of how much memory you can actually save and then to clean that obviously means to clean out your phone now it's going to give you um how much memory you have how much memory you like used and both basically your overall memory i've used 5.5 58 uh, gigs out of 12.11 because I'm running a 16 gig so 48 percent and then I'm not sure what the first line is okay but you have you have all of these options for this app to analyze I have Safari my message attachments like pictures and stuff to anything that's taking up memory applications OTA software updates Cydia um, unused dependencies and everything else I leave ticked um, you can exclude apps if you want from checking and this is version 7.3.1 now we're going to do a, a quick clean you have settings down here quick clean and this add button for um, like little settings here I'm going to go back now we're going to check out the settings side of it you could do test mode Restore backup files, remove backup files, view log file, activator, flip switch, winterboard, it cleans out on um, winterboard, and everything else. Now we're going to do a quick cleanup. I'm going to analyze first. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, now it's going to give you a log. Of basically everything that's in your phone, everything that found that it could clean. We're gonna exit out of that, and then we're gonna click clean. Now it's gonna be cleaning up my phone, and then it's gonna ask you to respring, well, restart your phone. Your phone will vibrate once and you'll get an ad, which takes five seconds. Exit out of that. And then it's going to tell you, it's going to give you this message. So you can respring. And you can wait, you can wait the seconds or you just press yes. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait for my phone to start up, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, 
once your phone started up that's it pretty much it's clean it should be a little bit snappier now um, I should have more memory let's check it out usage it cleaned at least half a gig I used 5.3 now out of 5.5 .5 or 5.8 whatever I said before now another way that you can clean your phone this is a non broken way the non broken way is basically by using um, this battery app okay battery doctor that's the name of it now to get that you're going to need to go to your app store once at your app store press on search and type in battery doctor Okay, so it'll be the first one there. You want to open, you want to install it, and then once you're done, open it. Okay, this is a really good app for like when you're charging your battery too. Um, it tells me how much battery, uh, how much memory I use. Sorry, how much memory I have available. So I have 6.7 gigabytes available. It tells me how much RAM I'm using. I'm using 74% of my RAM. It tells me how many ads, um, new apps I added. I can optimize some apps, the apps that are being used, my charging record, and how many, how much battery power I have remaining. Now, if you want to optimize our memory, go there. So I'm using 74%. I can free 248 megabytes. So we're gonna press boost and there you go clean that at least 4 gigs and I released 423 megabytes so that once you're done with that you go to junk and it says how much I have available and this is going to help you clean your catch I'm not sure if you can see it there you go, clean up patch. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna press on it, clean. It's gonna give you a notification saying your memory is full, but just ignore that. See, this is the message. Storage almost full. So just press done. That's it, it's just cleaned 2.2 um, gigabytes. And that's basically it, guys. So that was the phone on the phone. And now we're gonna head to um, the computer part of this. And let me just show you that really quick. Let's move my lights. We're gonna move to the computer part of it. And I'll meet you there. Alright guys, now we're on the computer portion of this video. Now, to do the computer part, you want to go to your Internet Explorer or whatever uh, web browser you use. You want to go on Google. Let's go to Google. Okay. I'm going to go on google.com and you want to type in iMazing. Now, you want to go to iMazing.com, which is what you see up here. iMazing.com. So, you want to type in iMazing. And then you want to go to the either link, this one or this one. Now once you're there, now this works on Macs and uh, Windows PCs. So once you're there, just wait for the page to load.
Okay, once the page has loaded, you're going to go straight to download right here. You're going to press on that. Now you're going to just wait for that page to load. Alright, once that page has loaded, you're going to either download um, iMazing for Mac or iMazing for PC Windows, whichever, offer, um, whichever kind of computer you have. Now these are the latest versions, so do not worry. I am running a Windows 8.1 um, PC, so I will press download for Windows um, PC. Now this page will come up and your download is going to start right on the bottom, so just wait for that. I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it just a few seconds ago. <clears throat> now, once you have that done, you want to press save. Close this down. And then you want to go to your downloads. My downloads folder is here on my second screen, so I'm right here. I have it right here. So let's put that on our desktop. You want to double press it. I'm going to follow the installation process. Okay, select setup language, English, or whatever language you have. You want to press on next. I accept, next, continue, create desktop, install. Now you're going to wait for this to install. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, we're almost done here. If you want to fast forward this, you can. So you don't have to wait. Okay, we should be coming to the finish. Uh, Windows Explorer needs to be started, blah, blah, blah. No. Okay, once that's done, you want to launch iMazing. Just press finish. Now just wait for it to open up. Now this is a paid software, so they're going to give you a trial. If you want to pay, um, I don't really use it that much because since I have those two apps on my phone, but if you want to pay for this, you can. Now, the first thing you're going to be greeted with um, is, let me put this to the side. Is to please connect your device and basically you want to connect your device. You're going to see that on the top right hand of this video. Now, okay, once your device is connected, obviously it's going to, be vibra it's going to vibrate. And now let's continue. And it's going to tell you your phone, information of your phone and everything. And here, basically, I'm just going to do a quick rundown since it says that. I have zero days left of my trial for some reason. But once you're here, basically it's just like iTunes. You run down through all this stuff. Or you could go to your file system and that's where you find all your file your file um, folders from your phone. And from there you can just rename things, clone things, um, back up your files, and just clean out your phone from here. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you guys out a little bit with how to clean your phone.
If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will be glad to help you. I am in the process of making a website with WordPress, but it's taking a little bit of time because I'm not familiar with it. So please stay tuned for more videos. Each day I'll probably make a video, depending on my schedule. But thanks guys for watching. Peace out.